I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas light guy. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get five or even eight LED outputs on a dig quad. This is part two of a two-part series. In part one of this series, I demonstrated WLED firmware running on a dig quad with up to eight LED outputs. In this part of the series, I'll show you how to set up and configure ES Pixel Stick firmware on a dig quad with five or eight LED outputs and how to control it, set it up in X lights. First of all, I would like to thank ES Pixel Stick firmware developer Martin Mueller for all of his hard work and dedication to the ES Pixel Stick firmware project. When I first attempted to create this tutorial about five months ago, I ran into a random flashing issue. I contacted Martin and explained the issue. Martin was able to reproduce the issue and start the debugging process. It turned out it wasn't a simple fix after all. He had to completely rewrite the ISR or the interrupt service routine and stomp out a few other bugs. After several attempts, everything seems to be working fine now. Thank you, Martin Mueller. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. I'm sure you are wondering how it is possible to get five or eight outputs on a dig quad. The dig quad only has four outputs, right? All dig quads can run five LED outputs. Did I say five LED outputs? Yes, I did. Shh. It's the secret fifth channel and it actually works. The green terminal marked Q1R slash relay can be configured as the fifth LED output. The dig quad will drive five LED outputs with the standard Quinn LED ESP32 module. In this tutorial, I'm running a dig quad with the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus module which provides three additional LED outputs. Okay, let's see what it takes to make this happen. First of all, you will need the latest dev version of the ES Pixel Stick firmware, which is hot off the press. You'll need to download the development distro, unzip it, and install the ES Pixel Stick firmware using the development ES Pixel Stick flash tool. The link to the dev distro is in the description below. I'm not going to show you how to install the firmware, but I do want to show you the hardware setting that is needed for running all eight outputs. This is a screenshot of the development ES Pixel Stick flash tool. You'll need to select Quinn LED Quad AE Plus 8 Pixel Port in the hardware drop down menu. Now let's look at the firmware setup once you have flashed the AE Plus module. I've opened up a browser and I've typed in the IP address of the dig quad. In my case, it's 192.168.100.247. This will bring up the ES Pixel Stick firmware config page. First, I'm going to go over to the admin page and I'm going to enable the advanced mode. This will allow us to see the GPIOs assigned to the output ports. Next, I'll go to device setup. And here I'm going to enable the primary input to DDP and I'm going to save the changes. That's it. That's all you have to do. The rest of the firmware setup will be handled by X lights. I've opened up X lights and I'm on the controllers tab. I'm going to set up the dig quad controller using this discover button. Press the discover button and it will query for listening controllers. This may take a few minutes to find your controllers. Okay, it found my FPP main, which I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, delete this, since we're not using it in this demo. Now let's take a look at the dig quad. First, I'm gonna change the name of the dig quad um, to dig quad. And the description to the same dig quad. Notice the vendor is set to ES Pixel Stick. The model is ES Pixel Stick 4.x, which is correct. And the variant is ES32. ES32 variant is 
appropriate for the standard Quinn LED ES32 or the ESP32 AE Plus that I'm running. I'll go ahead and change the ID to 1. Make sure the auto layout models, auto upload configuration, and auto size are enabled. Everything else is uh, correct. Notice the IP of my dig quad is 192.168.100.247. Okay, I'll go ahead and save that. Now, moving over to the layout tab. For this demo, I've modeled eight strands of 100 pixels using the single line model and named them single line dash one through dash eight. Now moving back to the controllers tab, I'm gonna click on the visualize button and you will see on the Right hand side, you'll see the single line models, one through um, eight. And on the left side, you'll see the eight ports. If you don't see all eight ports, don't worry. There is a simple hack for x lights. x -Lite developers are still working on the correct output settings for supporting eight outputs on the dig quad with an AE plus and running ES pixel stick. See the description below for more details. All right, so now I'm going to assign each of these pixel strands to a port. Okay, close the window save and another thing I will do is upload output to make sure that it's working and we get a success. Now I'll move back over to the firmware to make sure that it is set up correctly. I will now minimize X lights and go back to the ES Pixel Stick firmware device setup page. Let me go ahead and refresh the page. As you can see all eight outputs are configured for 100 pixels each, and the correct GPIO uh, pins have been assigned. Now that I've confirmed X lights uploaded the configuration correctly, I'll move back to X lights. Okay, now I'm back in X lights. Let's see a working demo. Moving over to the Sequencer tab, I've already created a 30 second sequence with some simple effects, each effect being 5 seconds long. Nothing fancy here. I just want to demo X Lights has full control over the dig quad and all outputs. First, I'll do a full render. Okay, let me start my video recording. Okay. Video recording has started. Let me enable the output. Press play. And it works. The first effect is bars, different color bars moving uh, across each strand. The next I call spikes, green and magenta spikes. Next is bounce, which is red and green bouncing back and forth. Next is a marquee, red and green marquee effect and then a red and blue fade, strands intensity moving from zero to 100%, and then solid red and green, um, red and green on a solid color. As you can see from this simple demo, x Lights is controlling all eight LED outputs to the dig quad. I'm really excited to see that the new ES Pixel Stick firmware now supports up to eight outputs using the dig quad with the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus. The ES Pixel Stick firmware setup and configuration was simple. All I had to do is set the primary input to DDP and let X Lights do the rest. I've tested this setup by driving it directly from X Lights as I did in the demo. I've also tested it by driving it directly from an FPP and using FPP multi sync mode. 
And finally, I tested uploading and running a sequence locally. Everything seems to work fine now. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guide. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you have to do is press the subscribe button below.